Guys, USC plays tonight up in Corvallis, or Corvegas, as the kids are saying these days. Kickoff at 6 o'clock. What are you guys expecting to see tonight? USC lines plus four, so. I don't know about that. USC typically does not play very well in Corvallis. You saw what happened last time. Um, Oregon State has a top passing offense in the nation. Sean Mannion has looked great since that first Mannion game. Mannion is a stud, and so is his receiver, Brandon Cooks, who mm -hmm. leads the Pac-12 with 13 touchdowns. I think he leads the nation, actually. And, you know, you got Mannion going off for 3,000 yards plus 30 touchdowns to only three interceptions. That's after losing their best receiver to the draft. Right. And so that tandem is going to be really hard for the USC secondary to stop, I feel like. Um, you had Deion Bailey say the other day when we were talking about Mannion, he's like, What's his name? Oh, yeah, he's okay. So, Dion I, Bailey is lying. Look, here, here's the thing that I want to see. I want, I want to see how well Oregon State bounces back from a physical uh, loss to Stanford because USC's front seven is still a strength of that defense. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Sean Manning is not the most mobile quarterback. No. You know who he's mm -hmm. throwing to for the most part in Brandon Cooks. And so I think you, you got to look and see if – uh, that defense travels. That right. defense has been inconsistent. We've seen yeah. them play outstanding. We've seen them kind of drop the ball. They need to be physical and be. And this guy something out. we're gonna have to take a look at, you know, logistical matters. We're, they're playing in Corvallis. You know, it's gonna be a hostile environment. You had Coach O, you know, simulating the sounds so that the offense can work on their snap counts. So I think that's something that's gonna really come down to is how Coach O manages the game, how Cody Kessler comes out in a hostile environment. But, guys, to be honest, I think this is going to be another recurrence of Arizona State. Although... Beaver is going to put up a lot of points tonight. Darian did also say that Utah was going to come to the Coliseum and win last week. So, take it with a grain of salt. All I know, I was encouraged last week to see USC win a game that they traditionally wouldn't have and that it was a grind. Right? Yeah. USC, in the past, you know, you think of the big games, UCLA, you know, a couple years ago, Oregon a couple years ago, some of those blowouts last year, mm -hmm. even with all the turmoil. It was really encouraging for me to see them win a game that was kind of a slugfest and wasn't fast paced and they had to grind through it and that was really good especially without Justin Davis but I'm going to move on